The NTSB's public hearings in the DCA air disaster are over. They went well into the evening, wrapping up just about an hour ago, and it's been a grueling three days for family members who attended. Yeah, that's right, and eye-opening for sure, especially for investigators and safety regulators determined to make the skies around Reagan National Airport safer. Our Larry Miller has a closer look at the final day of testimony. Three days of testimony here, the NTSB officially over, and it is clear that the NTSB looking at a number of factors that contributed to that deadly crash on January 29th. Some of the biggest factors where investigators spent considerable time, altitude readings on the U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopter that showed discrepancies, staffing at DCA, training of air traffic controllers, workplace culture, and collision avoidance technology. The list goes on. The questions by investigators were clear, focused, and based on considerable research conducted by the agency. Meanwhile, family members of the victims watched this all unfold, learning new information. Many of them are heartbroken by the details that a system potentially failed them and could be endangering others. I spoke with Gwen Duggins and Tim Lilly. Gwen's daughter Kia was a passenger on American Eagle Flight 5342. Tim's son Sam was the co-pilot on that airplane. Here's what they told me. I've learned just how dysfunctional the FAA is and they've got a new leader and I'm calling on him to get in there and make some fast changes. Uh, one of the uh, individuals who testified for the FAA was completely uncredible. Um, for instance, they didn't do alcohol testing and the excuses that he used were ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. Every aviator and every tower person knows that if there's a major incident, you have to do alcohol testing. There's been a lot of technical information, but at the end of the day, there were 67 amazing human beings who lost their lives. And I don't think we should lose sight of that um, because you can get caught up in the bureaucracy, but at the end of the day, 67 families are grieving the loss of their loved ones, and um, that just shouldn't occur. And I, I hope that these hearings bring about a change so that other families don't have to deal with what these families, our families have had to deal with. Now the wait begins. The NTSB will release its final report in 2026, and at that time, the hope is that the agencies that are being listed and called out in that report to make necessary recommendations not only accepts those recommendations, but makes changes. At LaFont Plaza, Larry Miller, WUSA 9. So we 